This is the Coin Market Cap Update with your host, Crypto Keith. We'll see which coins are leading and which coins are falling behind, which coins are good to buy and which coins are good to sell. So stay tuned for another interesting episode. Hey guys, Crypto Living here. I wanted to show you this uh, website called CryptoReach.com. And this is a, basically a social platform, social media network, where you can network, connect, uh, and follow people in the crypto community space. So anybody that's interested in crypto commu- cryptocurrencies and wants to get into the community more and meet more people, uh, that do the same thing as them and maybe learn some trading skills and tips go to crypto reach make an account I'm gonna do the same thing. I have yet to make an account Yeah, it's kind of like steamit.com here and uh, Where you can meet a lot of like-minded people in uh, in the coding space uh, tech space cryptocurrency space and uh and people that are creating and have lots of knowledge in this space, people that you can connect with and work with and create projects with. There's also another website that's doing well right now called Minds.com. It's been around for a while, but it's gaining more and more users every month, and it has an all-time user base now, all-time high. It's an open-source social media platform, and it was a small startup, and now it's it's big and competing with the top social media companies out there. But for people that have open minds, that are progressive, libertarian, um, and people that want a decentralized world, this is this is a perfect platform for you, Minds.com. Especially if your stuff's getting censored on other websites. Um, and if you want to have a new way to reach other people and new people, especially when you're creating a project in this space, you definitely want to be on these social media sites and get the word out there. Even if you're creating a YouTube channel, things like that, you got to tackle these, uh, these communities because this is where you're going to get, uh, get people that like your content. This one, uh, Minds.com, works off rewards. It's rewards-based. You get um, rewards for uh, posting and having good content. And when people uh, like your content and you're on the the main page, so the news feed's right here. Actually, we can't. Can we see the the posts here? So here's some channels. Um, but you can also promote your stuff and see InfoWars is on Minds. You can promote your content and uh, you can pay for uh, shares on other people's sites. So they are um, trying to get more ways to monetize and things like that. Also, Steamit.com, you can make money, Steam, and Steam back dollars for posting and getting upvotes. So, uh, Just wanted to share those with you guys before we move on to our market cap uh, video. So when we went to the top changes for 24 hours, we see Singular DTV and GX shares. So we're going to look at those right now. Singular DTV still looks like it's pretty new. It's had a couple pumps there. Um, you could have made a bit of money on it. The singular DT is on m- lots of markets. So it's on Bittrex, Binance, uh, HitBTC. And Singular TV, when I went to their website, it actually surprised me. I thought it would be uh, not very interesting. But if you look here, it's actually a TV network that you can uh, earn Earn tokens. So you can create your own tokenized ecosystem. 
and you can create uh, a channel, a news outlet, um, a media outlet, anything you want. It seems very futuristic. It seems like it's going to go uh, into the mainstream. And uh, it's an interesting looking platform and idea. So I'm going to look into this a little bit more myself. But it looks like they do have stuff. Um, see, Grammatics Revolution will be televised. Live broadcast from Grammatics launch November 9th. Tune in. So it's interesting. If you're interested in this, look into it a little bit more. There's also DTube that's connected to Steemit where you can uh, upload videos as an alternative to YouTube. Moving on to GX shares. This is the one that's not really on many exchanges. And it's going down. The volume has been pretty weak. So it looks to me like it's dying off. It's fading. But you never know. Sometimes these coins, they just have a down periods and then they come back. But it is an Asian coin. Uh, it's based on data, so decentralized data exchange. It has a nice, uh, nice website here, but don't be fooled by nice marketing. A lot of tokens now, they're focusing way too much on the marketing and ICOs um, than the product itself or solving a problem. So just be careful there. I'm not going to invest in this. It looks too technical to me. And I try to stay away from the Asian companies. If we go to top losses, we see Power Ledger. And this is a perfect time to talk about Power Ledger and decentralized power companies. So instead of paying your, your current power supplier, you can be paying... Uh, or you can be paying for peer-to-peer -peer power. So the way these systems work is they create a token. You can either buy the token or get the token for helping fund the company. And you can also get the token by producing power. So if you have a, a windmill or if you have a solar panel, you can connect to the power grid and be selling your power that you're generating for these power ledger tokens, which uh, in this case it's P-O-W-R, the symbol for these tokens. I did a little bit of research uh, a couple months ago on these companies when they were having their ICOs. Um, the power ledger is currently on see some markets here Binance Cryptopia and Ether Delta you can find their social media by clicking the social button there and uh, if we look at the charts we can see here that it's growing in volume and it's having an all-time high it looks like for volume also it's uh it's going up in value i think this is an amazing token to get into if you guys are looking for an investment that is solid this is one of them uh, i'm not a uh, financial advisor so keep that in mind but this idea is going to do well in my opinion and if we go over to their website here welcome to the token generation event so these are Australian companies. There's another one called WePower. And uh, I've done a little bit more research into WePower than I have Power Ledger, but I have done research into Power Ledger. So they raised $34 million in the pre-sale and main sale. They have an, an awesome company, an awesome team. So it's peer-to-peer -peer trading. You can do your own research into this too, but it's all based on green power. And they have already made 
uh, arrangements and deals with a lot of uh, power suppliers that are already uh, providing people power. So they've also been working with regulators and their team is just phenomenal. If you have a chance to look at that, they have lots of partners in the energy industry. And like I said, they have been talking with the government and regulators to do this right. WePower is another Australian-based uh, token that works in the same way. It's WePower.network. And uh, yeah, if, if I could suggest in, in uh, investing in uh, an industry, it would be this one. This one and uh, ICOs related to artificial intelligence. But you're going to want to do your research and find, uh, find out if this company is actually going to do what they say they're doing. It's a great idea. And make sure they're not just selling you the idea and they do have those, those partners, connections, and things like that. So here we power saying WPR tokens grow in real value. WPR tokens are backed by energy. Token model is clarified with a European regulator. Projects supported by the government. International and experienced team with 10 plus years in the energy industry. Platform will be operational within nine months. 1.24 trillion US dollar market potential. Secured partnerships with energy companies. Strong pipeline of green energy development projects. And they do have a platform demo that you can uh, you can check out to see exactly how it's going to work. You type in your energy meter uh, and and for people that are producing power as well. They have all their social media here. I wish I would have invested in this ICO, but I'm doing my research and making sure that I I know what I'm doing before I invest in these things because you can lose tokens if you do it the wrong way. So we will be sharing with you that journey of learning how to invest in ICOs um, and, and how to find a good ICO and how to pick out a bad one, the kind of warning signs. So that's about all for today, guys. Uh, you can see if you go up here, market cap's just under 200 billion. Um, and it's 60.4% Bitcoin dominance. And it's, it's interesting to watch this as uh, the forks come closer and co closer. You see the Bitcoin dominance going up more and more because people are cashing out of their altcoins into their Bitcoin to get those free tokens when the Bitcoin fork happens. And then after, you'll see that a lot of people will cash out of their Bitcoin back into altcoins. Altcoins will rise. Bitcoin will go down um, for the most part. If we look at prices here today, we can see that uh, Bitcoin is going down. And I, I saw this coming too. There are lots of signs that it was reaching its peak and it was going to go back down and recover and kind of consolidate again. Bitcoin Cash is uh, is going back down a little bit, but there are some signs that this will rise too. Uh, Ethereum is going back down. BitConnex uh, going down a little bit, but it's up today. Byteball Bytes. Good time to get into that. It uh, it was a lot more expensive. It was in the 200s last time I looked. Monero is 101.57. So Monero is doing amazing. This is one of the tokens that I really believed in um, over a year ago, and I was holding. And I bought a lot of these tokens when they were seven, eight dollars. But we're not perfect, and a lot of times we sell too early. So. That's that. So, with that being said, here's another interesting ICO that uh, it's called Spective. So, S P E C T I V V R dot com. Spectiver dot com. So, it's uh, the gateway to virtual reality. It's saying. 
signal token protocol. But again, this this ICO uh, looks a lot like like it's uh, it's focusing more on marketing than anything. So just be careful there because it's very easy to create. A, well, it's not easy, but anybody can create uh, an, a token that represents an idea and sell you the idea, marketing around it, creating beautiful uh, graphics and creating a beautiful team, but not actually follow through with it. So before you invest in ICOs like this, do your research. I can't stress it enough. Uh, it looks amazing going to the first page, but they put a lot of money in making this uh, home page sell you the coin. So just be careful, guys. It does look cool. I'll give it that. Token sale um, is in 30 days. So you can join the email list now to get early access. So this might go up. You probably could make some money off of it. I'm just saying that you can't be fooled by amazing graphics thinking that it's going to be an amazing company and idea. So that's all for today, guys. I do want to upload a video here shortly explaining how specifically you can create a token. You can create your own token on the Ethereum network. And I also want to do a video about ICOs and how you can pick out good ones from bad ones. There are some other videos I'll be doing, so be sure to hit that bell below and you'll get notified as soon as I release them. You can also put your Bitcoin address down below in the comments because we will be periodically picking a comment and a wallet to send some Bitcoin to. So I'm Crypto Keith. We'll catch you tomorrow with our Crypto Market Cap Review.